I want to give you the idea, the concept that our brain is plastic. The reading brain doesn't exist. It's created. And what you see here in English is a motley overview of the circuitry there, Chinese, kanji, Japanese kana. Anyone here who speaks or writes Japanese? Ah, you have the most interesting brain in the room, <laughs> just so you know. <laughs> that brain is actually using two different, actually more than two, but two circuit that you see one for kana and one like Chinese for kanji. Now, very quickly, what do you see immediately in kanji that's different from English? Immediately. You are not the most immediate audience I've ever seen. <laughs> The concept here is that a logographic, actually, it's a logo syllabary, it's going to need much more visual memory and putting symbols and meanings. So what you see here is that visual system in the right hemisphere requires far more space, if you will, cortical space. And here's the principle. The writing system will rearrange, make the particulars of that circuitry. So your circuitry is actually going to be influenced by the writing system. But that same plasticity, and here I'm forecasting, that same plasticity will make us change as we use different mediums as well. Here's the important principle for us to think about. What we do when we read makes a difference in the circuit itself. The brain reflects the cognitive, perceptual, and linguistic requirements of it. That brain is changing as we speak under our fingertips.